Hey folks, Matt from artoftheimage.com. So, exciting new announcement from Samsung. We have the Samsung Galaxy S5 announced. I was kind of waiting for that because I'm kind of staying a generation behind on my phones. Uh, and I'm switching from an iPhone 4S over to Samsung. So now, I'm going to be able to get a Samsung S4 at a better price because the S5 is out. But with the S5, one of the things we always like to do is look and see what changes have been made. Uh, I've gone over the specs here and I've got the nine major differences, nine major differences between the Samsung S5 and the S4. Now maybe I should say main differences instead of major because some of these aren't really major, but they are differences nonetheless. So we'll go with the nine main differences. First and foremost, the S5 is running Android version 4.4.2, and that's the KitKat OS, versus the uh, version that came with the S4 was Jelly Bean 4.2.2. So we've got uh, a newer, more evolved uh, Android operating system uh, in the S5 right out of the box. Number two, we've got a faster processor. The S5 is running a 2.5 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 quad-core CPU. There was some quad-core CPUs in the three different variants of the S4, but they weren't running as fast as the new one in the S5. They weren't running at the 2.5 gigahertz. So um, a faster uh, processor in the S5. Number three, we've got a 16 megapixel camera in the S5 versus the 13 megapixel camera that we have in the S4. Now, when we're looking at megapixel cameras, the sensors are pretty small in these cameras. So I'm not sure this is really an advantage, but numbers wise, which is what sells a lot of things, the game is uh, is 16 on the S5. So um, perhaps we will call it the winner just on numbers alone. Although it'll be interesting to see which one actually takes a better picture. Number four, and this is very significant, is we've got 4K video recording now on the Samsung Galaxy S5. A lot of cameras don't even have 4K video ability, yet we have it now in the Samsung Galaxy S5 cell phone. We did not have that. We only had 1080 HD on the S4. So it's a welcome advantage. Technology is moving forward. Um, I'm not sure that at cell phone quality recording we really need this, although you can also take some pretty darn good video out of a cell phone. So... Perhaps um, it remains to be seen uh, how how good this 4K uh, video is out of the S5, but it looks to be promising. Number five, next up, we've got a stronger, newer battery in the Samsung Galaxy S5. We've got 2,800 milliamps versus the 26 mAh in the uh, S4. So you could uh, probably see, all, all, all things being equal, we can probably expect to see some better battery life out of the S5, although that doesn't necessarily always translate because it's possible the S5 is a bit more of a battery pig. Not saying it is, but it may be. It uh, remains to be seen. But nonetheless, we do have a uh, more powerful battery in the S5. Next up, number six, uh, and here's a really welcome addition. We've got waterproofing and dust resistant. So it's waterproof and dust resistant. So uh, I think they were even claiming that you can actually take it underwater. Uh, I'm not sure I'd want to do that with a phone in this price range, but interesting nonetheless. And it's always nice, even with cameras and cell phones, to see them go uh, waterproofing and dust resistant because then uh, you've got a lot less likelihood of them being damaged just in normal use, whether from dust getting in or from being, you know using it out in the rain or whatnot. Uh, it's just more resistant to the elements and those type of things. Uh, we didn't have that on the S4 too, I should point out, by the way. Um, that probably was fairly obvious, but that is a big feature on the S5 that the S4 did not have. Number seven, uh, fingerprint-based biometric technology. This is kind of cool. So... Um, you can stick the thumb on there, get a scan, and boom, your phone's opened up uh, just for you. So that's kind of neat. Um, how much we're going to use something like that remains to be seen. Although it, uh, it does probably provide a faster way of getting into your phone when it's locked uh, than sitting and typing in a password. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we didn't have that on the uh, Samsung S4. And then we have the built-in heart rate monitor. That's number eight. That is on the S5, the Galaxy S5. We didn't have that on the S4. So that's kind of cool, uh, especially for those of us that are into um, 
working out and health wise and whatnot just a neat function to be able to have samsung's always coming out with new innovations and here again they're packing the s5 with some neat new stuff uh, number nine is simply weight um, it's not an advantage to the s5 it's actually heavier at 145 grams versus the 130 grams of the s4 but it is a difference we have 15 grams heavier on the s5 not a big difference but uh it, it is there um and you know the tendency is often to go smaller and lighter or at least lighter and uh, that's not the case here the s5 is actually a little heavier not by a lot but it is a little heavier so there you go folks that is the nine major differences the nine main differences between the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the Samsung Galaxy S4. So let me know what you think. Did I miss a main difference that you think should be on here? Um, are these of interest to you? Are you gonna run out and upgrade your S4 to the S5? Are you like me? Do you have an iPhone that you want and now you're looking at going to an S4? Um, do you have an iPhone and you want the S5 now because of something that's on here? Uh, let's have a discussion on the brand new S5 and uh, thanks for tuning in folks. Stay tuned, we'll be back soon with some new videos, some new articles. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography, videography, and technology right here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks a lot folks.